Sher Russell for mining.com.au and joining me once again is James Cross, the CEO for ePower Resources. James, it's great to have you back on. How are you? Doing well, thanks, Shay. It's nice to be here. We've started talking a little bit about graphite, but I wouldn't mind delving into the current supply chain of graphite and why we in Western economies are trying to establish our own graphite supply chains. Right. Well, currently about 80% of graphite, of natural graphite is produced in China. And thereafter, um, the next source is East Africa, which is Mozambique, Madagascar, and Tanzania. And if you add those three together, plus China at 80%, you're really already over about 90% of global production. So all production is really very far away from the industrial base of, call it the Western world. Um, you know, North America, Europe, uh, Australia, you know, they're, they're all pretty far away from the sources of graphite. And it, to give you, to use North America as an example where we operate, um, the last graphite production in the U.S. ended around 1960. And nothing's, or virtually nothing's been done since then in graphite. Canada has one small producing mine, um, and it produces less than 1% of global production. So right now there's a, you have wildly increasing demand due to not just electric vehicle batteries, but also the, the desire for uh, industrial self-sufficiency and even rearming the defense industry as a lot of um, weapons, ammunition, and material have been expended in, in Ukraine. So the West is struggling to come up with some graphite production, and it doesn't really have very much, much right now. I'm so glad you touched on that at the end of your answer, because obviously the supply of graphite is limited, but what does the future demand and supply of graphite look like? Well, one of the big drivers of increased demand is um, the growth in electric vehicle batteries. Um, it, you know, right now, just by 2030, Benchmark Mineral Intelligence estimates that the world needs um 140 percent more graphite production than there was in 2024 so that's a lot of mines that have to come online really fast or um, or really some industrial users of graphite could actually be left behind and you might even be able to split up um, graphite into two different worlds or ecosystems you know there's Chinese graphite and the Chinese even though they produce 80% they import a lot of East Africa's graphite as well. So they're using all theirs. They don't really have enough for everybody else anyway. And so if we struggle, I mean, my own estimate based on looking at benchmarks estimates is that North America alone needs 40 new um, graphite producing mines by 2035. And, and right now there are eight significant projects that could um, including e-powers that could um, make an impact on that supply deficit looming. Hang on, did you say eight could make an impact? Yes. When you need forty, so could means they aren't yet in production. That, that's that's right. The, the the continent needs about forty, and uh, and that really assumes everything or almost everything goes into production. So you might need eighty to get forty mines, but. Um, yeah, currently there are only eight significant projects. Sorry, uh, there are 10, but two are already off the table um, because those are held by a company now essentially controlled by a consortium of General Motors, Panasonic, and Mitsui. So that's two gone, eight to go. Uh, that is some incredible numbers that you've just put out there, James. Thank you so much for being here. I look forward to speaking with you again. Thanks, Shay. 